Hey, I'm just saying, the United States, it's not looking so hot. Let's just start out with that. So, yesterday was election day in the United States of America across several states, including New York. And this one, I want to I want to talk about this one first because we have a very peculiar situation here, and I've been covering this race for a while. Um, this is the Buffalo uh, race where India Walton won the Democratic primary, and then the loser of the Democratic primary did a write-in campaign. The sore loser of the Democratic primary did a write-in campaign and then beat the Democrat. Right? Like, wow. Right? And so, for those of you that don't know much about this race, this guy has been the uh, mayor of Buffalo for, I think, a around a decade or so. So, it's not it's not like it's a random person came out of nightwear, nowhere with a writing campaign and won. It's a name everyone in Buffalo is most likely familiar with. And so, that's why it probably took off. That combined with the fact that voter turnout in these elections, especially off-year elections, is horrible! It's horrible. No one gives a fuck because Americans are fucking dumb and they don't care about elections for the most part. That coupled with the fact that elections are usually really difficult to participate in, especially if in your minority districts and neighborhoods with voting lines being hours and hours and hours long in some cases, right? That doesn't make voting in these elections too easy. And when you just don't give a shit and you don't think anything's going to happen, if you do vote, why bother? Right? So I want to read this article here. This is from CNN. So I'm, I'm reading CNN article, not because I agree with it, uh, obviously, but because I want to know what the mainstream liberal media is going to say about this. So of course, the, uh, the title is very good. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown declares victory over socialist challenger. Now again, I want to be very clear. This all happens after India Walton won the Democratic primary, the New York State chair of the Democratic Party literally compared India Walton, a black woman, to the KKK. I, I, I literally, I'm not joking. This actually happened. I covered it. The chair of the New York State Democratic Party compared a black woman to the KKK. I mean, uh, uh, the Democratic candidate for mayor was compared to the KKK. And so, like, I don't, like, this is what happens, right, when, you know, the Democratic Party literally cares more about making sure they don't lose the grip of power in their party, right, the corporate fascist wing of the Democratic Party. They are so hell-bent on winning in the party that they don't give a fuck about the party's control. They care more about their position in the party than they care about the party's power and position in uh, the government. And that's something that you need to understand with this stuff. So let's just read this article. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown declared victory Tuesday night in his write-in campaign for a fifth term. A fifth term. Brown lost the Democratic primary earlier this year to Democratic Socialist India Walton. As of 12.30 a.m., about 59% of the votes have been cast for write-in candidates and 41% had gone for Walton. Brown's campaign likely accounts for a strong showing for write-in candidates on the ballot, but Erie County won't begin to tabulate the write-in votes until November 17th. So again, it is theoretically possible that he lost and he's just declaring that's possible. But, I mean, let's be real, right? That makes it impossible to say definitively who voters wrote in, despite Brown's victory declaration. After effectively sitting out the nominating contest and refusing to engage with or debate Walton, Brown launched a well-funded general election campaign. Emphasis on well-funded. You need to understand, follow the goddamn motherfucking money. Brown launched a well-funded general election campaign asking voters, this time including independents and Republicans, to quote, write down Byron Brown. So he advertised to Republicans, hey, I know you don't like me. Look at my skin color. But wait, there's a socialist running. Come on, let's just compromise here. 
Literally, that's what he did. He appealed to Nazis, Republicans, and dumb fuck libertarians, and they fell for it. They were like, yeah, whatever, we gotta stop the fucking socialist. Hey, right? And so, again, this shit is ridiculous. You need to understand money wins elections. Not only money, but the strategy also. And also, again, like... When your voter base is stupid people, that's who vote for Democrats and Republicans. Stupid people. That's who votes for corporate politicians. Stupid people. Right? And so when your audience is stupid people, you can do anything in the world. When 75% to 80% of Americans are fucking dumb, I mean... It's easy mode. And so I want to use that to pivot into critical race theory in Virginia. But again, like they're appealing to stupid people and horrible people and evil people. And they will always unify against anyone that cares anything at all about poor people. Now, again, you might be thinking, but most people are poor. I know most people are poor and dumb because education in this country has been fucking destroyed. It's gone there. Is, and especially with with the GOP winning in Virginia. Again, there is no such thing as education in America at this point. If you learn in school and take that seriously and don't do any extracurricular learning or read the news, you're going to be a dumb fuck motherfucker. And that's most of Americans because our school system is garbage, right? And so again, a, like, I, don't, I don't have a solution here. I, by the way, I'm just bitching. I'm just, I'm just letting you know I'm bitching. But again, they literally had like extended an olive branch to Republicans, fascists, and libertarians. And they were like anything to stop the socialist. Hey, if that, that tells you something. That tells you something. I mean, I just, you need to think about that, so... But I want to talk about the critical fucking race theory bullshit.